An angle is a measure of rotation. Right? So this is what an angle is. Just like mass is a measure of amount of matter in a body and mass has certain units to measure it. For example, kilogram, tons, metric tons, pounds, and so on. And so does the angle. Measure of rotation, the angle is measured in revolutions, degrees, or radians. In cameras A levels, we are only concerned with the units, degrees, and radians. Now, what are degrees? You already know that 360 degrees equals one complete revolution. Right? So, why is the number kept to 360 degrees? Why 360 degrees is taken as complete revolution? Why not 70 degrees? Why not 20 degrees? Why not 10 degrees? There is a significance to this number 360 degrees, which is that a solar calendar has 365 days. This means that Earth takes 365 days to revolve around the Sun, and a lunar calendar. as 335 days. So the common number or the mid number between these two numbers 365 and 335 is 360s. So hence they divided up a complete revolution in 360 equal parts. Right? And now moving on to the radians. Now radian is also measured rotation. Radian is the unit in which the angle is measured. The definition of radian is that one rad or one radian it is the angle Subtended at the center of a circle by an arc, an arc is some part of the circumference, which is equal in length to the radius of the circle. All right. So, if we have a circle, this, and let's say that this is R, and this is R, this is R, so this angle will be equal to 1 radian, right? No matter how big the circle is, this angle will always be made 1 radian, because if we, if we increase the size of the circle, the radius of the circle will also increase, and so will be its arc length. Hence, this angle will remain at 1 radian. So, we know that. 2 pi r was our circumference, right? Now, circumference is this length. From this point, this whole complete revolution, the length of one complete revolution up to this point. So, 2 pi r equals circumference, and circumference is what? One revolution. It covers one revolution, which is 360 degrees. So, we know that one radian is covering an arc of length r, right? Which is equal in length. The radius of the circle. Hence, there's this r here, r here, and r here. So now, two pi r covers three sixty degrees, and one radian covers an arc length of one r. So how many radians are present in three sixty degrees? That will be two pi radians, right? Two pi r equals to three sixty degrees because I divided this equation by r. It gave me 2 pi rad equals to 6 degrees. So, 2 pi radian is equal to 36 degrees. From this, we can get that pi radian is 180 degrees. Pi by 2 radians is 90 degrees. Pi by 4 radian is 45 degrees. So, this formula is valid and is used for the conversion from degrees to radians or from radians to degrees. Alright? Let's do an example. If they have asked us to convert 93 degrees to radian, right? We know the formula or we know that 360 degrees equals to 2 pi radians. Now here I want to find the equivalent of 93 degrees in radians. So the I'll write radians to my right hand side. This is a common practice. The thing you want to find, you write it on your right hand side. So 360 degrees to 2 pi. Now here I want to get 93 
in any way I can. So what I'll do is I'll divide 360 on both sides of the equation. I'll get 1 equals 2 pi over 360 radians. And then I'll multiply 93 on both sides of the equation. I'll get 1 times 93, 2 pi over 360 times 93. And our answer is, this is in degrees, 90 degrees is equal to 1.62 radian. Right? Now, if they've asked us to convert something from radian to degrees, for example, we have been given to find the equivalent of 2.6 radian in degrees, rad or radian in degrees. Right? For this, we know that 2 pi radian equal to 60 degrees. I want to get 2.6 radian here in any way I can. So what I'll do is I'll divide 2 by on both sides of the equation. I'll get 1 rad equal to 360 degrees over 2 pi. 2 pi is basically a number. Pi is 3.613.142 or pi is 20 over 7. You can take pi 20 over 7 or 3.142 or pi as simply as pi if it is stated. So 1 radian equal to 360 degrees over 2 pi will get 2.6 radian equals to 360 degrees over 2 pi into 2.6. So we'll get 2.6 radian equals to 149 degrees. 